I am the Hoodman Brandon, and we are on top of the skyscraper. Anyway, there are a lot of enemies down there, and welcome back to Metal Gear Rising. Now, only one thing can stop uh, me. YOLO! Whee! Defy gravity and stab a man for no reason. It is a good day. And you're dead. And you're... Hey, guys, arm. Sweetness. Never really do that that often. I'm not that good at doing that. And you're kind of strong. I require your spine, though, so I can become stronger. And it's over. Does anyone think I'm too overpowered in this? Because I've played through the other difficulties. And it, those have been... Maybe that's because... I don't know. Anyway, a new enemy's gonna show up soon. So... And he's actually my least favorite and most sh annoying out of the minions. And... Yeah, it's this asshole. He carries a hammer. Which, might I add, is annoying. Literally. I can't get a decent hit on him. And a grenade... And that grenade just hit. And these guys are not that fun either. Let's just take their spine. I just chopped them all into pieces. Oh! Two! Okay, this is kind of tough. Well, that's because this line thing is kind of annoying. And there's two hammer ones. That's just fantastic. I think it's not, I think we need a rocket launcher. I don't usually use these, but I feel like now is as good as time as ever. And another one. And another one. And we're good. I don't usually use those, and don't expect me to use them that often. And it's mine. See, these guys are tough. Like, extremely. Oh. This guy's... This guy had one leg. And no arms. Well, better call him Matt. Too soon? I actually bought, got that joke from Family Guy and, uh... References, you know. Hey, let me throw. Okay, let's go. Oh man. And here I was hoping we could be friends. Oh well, no friends for me, I guess. Oh, you're in pieces, and there's a helicopter. Kinda wish I didn't use my missiles now. Okay, come on. And it's down. Hey, there's a missile. Dang it. I could have shot down. B, that's my first B of the chapter. Let me throw. Whee! What superhero jumps through the skies like this? Oh, well. There was a guy here. I, there was no way I was going to save him. And also, even if I did, it would take up so much time. Oh, that man had a left arm. Oh, well. Okay, come on. Time to die. Uh, I just sliced that man's face off. Uh, that's kind of freaked out. Hey, you. Oh, okay. Wait, what the? He was still in the air, like, fine, and now he's was in uh, just a arm. Oh, okay, I'm confused. Oh, well. You cannot proceed any further via the rooftops. Aw. There is a freight railroad underground. The elevator ahead will take you to it. 
a box right there. I'm going to take that first. Um, what superhero jumped across rooftops a lot? I know... I'm trying to think of the one that jumped the most. Was it Batman or Spider-Man? I don't know. Anyway, down we go. We... Ow. We don't take fall damage, luckily. Oh, wow, it is dark. It must be the railroad. It would appear so. Likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight trains. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory. But now, it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Well, that sucks, can't see. It's pitch black in here. Okay, so we can turn on this mode. There's only one problem. If I were to say slash something, it turns off. So this is kind of going to be an annoying situation where I, w I could either stealth my way through a lot of stuff or I could, well, he'll just st kill everything. Personally, I choose that option because this is really annoying. Also, I can't ninja run either because that like just turns it. I won't. I'll just stealth kill some of them. I'll try my best to like make my way through this, but this part's actually quite annoying. Oh crap! What's it? I'm just gonna grab this item box. Well, he doesn't know. I can also see through walls apparently. Kind of like the listening thing in The Last of Us. I might do a let's play of that game, actually, because that game just is really fun. Um, crap. Well, we can see better now. See, the, see, whenever you're in battle mode, you can actually see the, your opponent, because it's fair that way. And goodbye, your arm. Oh, crap. You remember how much fun I had with these guys? Ow. Crap. And down. Ooh, half shot. Oh, wow. This video is going on for a bit. I might have done the episode too. And apparently after you defeat your enemy, it becomes pitch black again. That's just great, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to move as fast as I can through this part, or at least until the next checkpoint, because... Let's face it, I'm going to need that at least. Now there are a lot of small enemy robots that are going to notice me, because... Let's just say for the fact that they're just going to be annoying. Here they are. Oh, I reached a checkpoint. That's weird. Uh... Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to finish off this part right here, which will lead us back to the surface, or at least a checkpoint. And... Then we're going to end the episode, and next episode, we'll see what's up. He looks back on the surface. Whoa! Don't throw me, bro. He's using one arm, arm to grab me instead of both arms. That's weird since he still has both arms. Oh, he's blue. That means I can actually kill him. Wait, no, he's not completely blue. And now he's in pieces. Now all I have to do is defeat his little robot friends, and I win. Is that it? That was it! C. That sucks. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to end this episode here. Here, because we are... 
still sorry we'll just keep that thing anyway next time on metal gear rising revengeance we will see what's going on back on the surface and figure and try to rescue the brains of the children that these guys have captured i haven't really said much about the story but maybe it's because this is just mostly about fighting anyway like and favorite if you enjoyed comment some more stuff for me to do and i'll see all of you in the next video see ya